brothers, sisters, I envy you. To fight the enemy of our nation, to face the people who would deny us even our right to breathe, is an honor we all aspire to. Our flag means nothing if not held aloft in the hands of the mighty, and it is you who now carries it. If the leg goes lame, it must be removed. If the kidney fails, it must be cut out. The body does not live for the individual organs. Sometimes, for the body to survive, parts of it must be lost. The good surgeon understands this. And I promise you this. Through your sacrifice, Helgen will survive. War is about action. And what we do in the coming days will prove to the ISA once and for all that we will not be dictated to. Death is the only lesson that they will understand. Brothers and sisters of Helgen. As of today, you are the hands that bludgeon, the teeth that bite and tear. You are the beating heart of this nation, the vital organ that keeps Helgen alive. With your blood, you nourish us all. My father once said that the greatest weapon Helgen possesses is its people. I never truly understood what he meant until today. But seeing you stand here before me, ready to fulfill the promise of our forefathers, I finally understand. My brothers and sisters, you are Helgen! Change is inevitable. No one understands this better than the Hellcast. We not only embrace change, we bent it to our will, mastered it. And now we must be ready to do it again. Our time has come at last. We owe our fathers a debt. But we cannot allow the ghosts of their memories to stop us from doing what must be done. They did what they had to in order to survive, and so must we. To those who cling to the old ways, I say this. Do not mourn our fathers, because you will meet them soon enough. We stand at the dawn of a new era, at the very precipice of destiny. The ISA attack us, blind us to the threat that even now rises behind them. A glorious sun that signals the beginning of a new day, and that will bathe the ignorant in its flames. The ISA want to believe that we're evil. They convince themselves that we're subhuman, somehow undeserving of the basic liberties granted so freely to others. They do this to justify their invasion. But remember this. The man who seeks excuses for his action is doomed to fail. Look up, my brothers. Gaze upon the stars. And what awaits us once we have dealt with the ISA? Helgen is and always will be our home. But the time has come to claim our birthright. To rise up and take back what was stolen from us. We are Hellcast. A name that strikes fear into the hearts of all who hear it. We are not the monsters that they claim. But to those that dare trespass on our planet, we will be more frightful than even their worst nightmares. When our fathers first arrived on Helgen, they believed this place to be a curse. They were wrong, and in time they came to understand why. This planet, our home, has gifted us with everything we need to claim our rightful place in the galaxy. All that is required of us is to embrace it, and the stars are ours to own. Are you a true Helgen? The true Helgen knows only hardship. The true Helgen understands that the needs of the many come before the needs of the individual. At a time like this, with the enemy at our gates, this nation has space alone for true Helgen. So I ask you again, are you a true Helgen? The Helgen? 
broadcast are known throughout the galaxy as an uncompromising people. Our banner strikes fear into the hearts of all who lay eyes upon it. And as you walk under it, know that you are protected because the banner is held aloft by all Helgast. The ISA stole Vector from our fathers, and now they want to take Helgen from us. With smiles on their faces and knives hidden at their backs, they talk of peace. But their diplomacy is just another word for thievery. We will not trade words with them. Your actions will make our intentions clear enough. People speak of the cost of war as if it were a simple equation. Let us remind them that no life lost in the service of a nation is wasted. No blood spilled for a worthy cause should be mourned. In the end, we pay what we must because we believe it necessary to do so. Our military leaders were negligent. They failed themselves and they failed the people of Helden. We should thank them. Their gross misconduct almost cost us our home. But it has given us a renewed sense of purpose and tempered in the fires of adversity, our will is forged anew. The citizen speaks of opportunity, the bureaucrat speaks of authority, and the diplomat speaks of policy. The soldier does not speak, the soldier acts. And that is why it is the soldier who wins the war. Many years ago, my father was asked, Are you not afraid? His reply, I know why I am here. Why should I be afraid? Fear is born of uncertainty. We fear nothing because our purpose is clear and our path is certain. To be Helgast is to know your place in the universe. And from that certainty comes the strength to conquer all. My fellow Helgast, I want to remind you that we are a free people. Free from uncertainty. Free from doubt. Free and secure in the absolute knowledge that we and we alone are capable of surviving the hardships of tomorrow. That the Helgast alone are fit to lead the universe and all its citizens through the trials that lay ahead. The victims speak of the individual. They preach of the rights of every man, of one man. Who is this person and why is he more important than the rest? Why do the needs of the few come before the many? So I ask you this. How can this one man hope to stand against a unified Helden nation? Vector and its people are sick, poisoned by uncertainty. They debate and they doubt, questioning themselves and others, always unwilling to see what is right before them. We will make them see. And as we hold their heads in our hands, they will stare into the face of tomorrow and they will finally understand. The ISA are blind to the troubles of the world and in their ignorance they find comfort. Hope and faith are the rallying cry of the lazy, the excuses of the weak. And yet the path that lies before us all is hard and filled with the dangers as yet unimagined. If the universe and its citizens are to make it through, it requires a people with unwavering resolve, a people tempered in their very fires of hardship. It requires the Helgast. Some have called this war unnecessary, but I ask you, is it unnecessary to protect our children? Is it unnecessary to stand against evil? We do this not because we want to, but because we must. Because if we let them, the ISA will deny us every freedom, every liberty we have worked so hard to obtain. We, Helgast, have always been a resilient people. We toil while others complain. We persevere when others give up. And when evil stares us in the eyes, we stare right back. That is who we are. Our fathers
brothers fought and died for Helgen, and we can do no less. The ISA call us tyrants, but their coming here has done nothing but prove themselves to be the agents of tyranny. Self-appointed defenders of justice? Well, what right do they have to tell us how to live? What authority do they have over our very lives? We are a free people, and we will command our lands and our families as we see fit. We are evolution's favorite children. Nurtured by our mother planet, we have grown strong and proud, while the victims have become petty and weak. They are afraid of us, and their fear has led them here. The ISA come into our home under the auspices of liberty and freedom, killing and pillaging in the name of their laws, and then dare lecture us on morality. They will be held accountable for their crimes. This, I swear to you, the victims speak of freedom. But they have no idea what true freedom really is. They are imprisoned by their laws and customs and their so-called civility. They are selfish people. They live frivolous, wasteful lives, possessing neither purpose nor direction. The ISA have no say here. And yet, they still think they are allowed to meddle in the affairs of a free and law-abiding people. We are our own masters. The Hellgast answers to no one. The Vectons are a lost people. They meddle in the affairs of others instead of solving their own problems. Hardship and sorrow add focus and give one's existence meaning. We will help them find meaning with our hands. We built this planet up from nothing. Our sweat and blood is as much a part of this world as the air we breathe. And the ISA think they can take it away from us? They are either fools or madmen. There is no understanding without weapons. There can be no dialogue without bloodshed. The ISA will be made to understand. And that knowledge will be paid for with their lives. The victims speak of innocence. But in war, there are no innocents. The victim public support their leaders. They elect them into power and they send their children to fight against us. They are all guilty. And as any civil nation will agree, the guilty must be punished. As before, we Helga stand alone. But we stand as one, united. As the combined forces of the Alliance rises against us, we will stamp them back down.